Alrighty, so now we are finally done with side quests at the Detroit City Hub, so I'm gonna return to my apartment real quick Welcome and modify home, my Mr. weapon Jackson. stash. Um, I think I'm probably gonna take the crossbow with me into the next level. Here is the, um, whatchamacallit, the bribe we got from O'Malley, so that's our reward for that side quest. We get 3,000 credits, that's pretty good. And a random bottle of wine as a, as a token now. If I, if I didn't mention before, what the alcohol does is, is just a consumable that slightly increases your max health, but it makes you slightly drunk as well, so, um, good to just use and wait for the temporary effects to go away and reap the benefits of the permanent effects. So, but what I'm going to be doing is just dropping off the weapons I don't want to carry with me into the next level, mainly the DLC weapons, and uh, stash the ammo for them over here as well. And then uh, pick up the crossbow and whatever else I want to take over there. So obviously I'm going to leave my uh, sniper ammo my shotgun shells over there. Everything else should be fine. Have the trank rifle for a little while and take the crossbow. Unfortunately all the uh, crossbow bolts I have to my name are on me right now. So, But yeah, we'll be using it in the next area. Like I said, it's one of the more useful weapons in the game. And uh, I would highly recommend carrying around with you pretty much as long as you can, but um, I just decided not to carry it with me uh, for the most of the game. I'm going to be bringing it back here and stashing it again before we go off to the next city hub, but that's, that's later. More on that when it's more relevant. Now we got to go back into Derelict Row and shut down that, or uh, get picked up after shutting down the signal relay. So edit over back into Derelict Row. I want to show off something real quick. It's the Hugh Darrow ebook in here, which is right over here in this side area on this uh, pallet of barrels here. And there's also a, e uh, not an e -book, a, a pocket secretary there with the code that I'm sure is useful for something. But now we have all the Hugh Darrow ebooks in the Detroit City Hub area, so we will not have to worry about that anymore. We can pretty much traverse this area as we please without having to worry about missing something. Uh, Practice point I want to spend real quick. I'm not sure what I want to spend it on yet. Uh, I might save it for the Acres Landing System just so I can get that early. No, I do. I do want to get that pretty early, so I want to get it pretty soon. It's going to be pretty useful before too long. But our, our actual uh, function for having it is not going to be for a while. So now we have our combat rifle back. I think that I haven't gotten. It so here's a little demonstration of it right now. Honestly, I demonstrated it at the beginning of the game, but it was a little bit different back then. I had that, uh, that laser sight, which is not stock. So we're going to have to find a laser sight for it eventually. Although, uh, I, and I love having a laser sight on the revolver as well. But if I had the choice, I'd probably rather put it on the, um, on the combat rifle just because I need the improved accuracy. It doesn't really matter where you hit them with the, with the magnum. It's going to do damage to them. So, um, but more on that when we actually get the revolver and the uh, assigned mods for it to make that possible. But I want to say there should be enough laser sights in the game to get four of them, but I don't know. I, I don't know where to find all four of them right now in this run, so I'm probably just going to end up getting three. So all these guys have already been cleared out, this has already been hacked and everything, so... We should be ready to go. Malik is already here and has probably been waiting for us for days now at this point. He's been like, where the hell have you been? been? Wasting fuel here this whole time. Yeah, let's go. Great. Detroit Local. This is Sarah Industries Bravo Echo Echo 008. Continuing on. Then we gotta figure out where the hacker signal came from in that place called Island Park.
Okay, okay, so we're here. You got coordinates on that factory yet? I was only Obviously, the first thing I want to do here is go over and talk to this guy. So he is a member of the unusual. MCBs, I guess, the Mars City Bangers, and a terribly stupid name. But, um... Yo! Without judging What's him good, for man? his, uh... You looking totally for some new toys? Stupid gang name that I he's can affiliated make with. Deal. Or from his augmented arms, we're gonna go ahead and see Might what he wants to offer us. He's a nice, yeah. friendly gentleman Shit, who's so willing to sell us uh, quite an right array now. of Check uh, weapon upgrades that are unique. So he's not your typical weapon vendor. He, he can offer you um, a grenade pack, a special um, target leading system, which is for the, uh, the trank rifle or the crossbow. And I, I do, re I guess, I do recommend getting that. I mean. It's all right. I, you don't really need it at this point in the game. Good but, idea. Yeah, but Here you the, go, uh, sir. The, the trank rifle else? and the crossbow both could use it, but I think they're both fine I without it. So ammo. I think that's kind of an unnecessary upgrade. But that's the unique upgrade. All for good. What else you need, man? So I want to go ahead and buy the crossbow arrows and all the other stuff that he's offering pack. here. Good choice, sir. Um, Anything else? The grenade pack. Uh, so now I'm we have. I think we have one of every Thanks grenade now that he is. All good, us that. son. Peace. And watch your back. I'll be demonstrating all the grenade types whenever they're relevant. As I, if I didn't say so before, much like in the original Deus Ex, there are four types of grenades. There's frag, EMP, gas, and concussion. And uh, I think those are the same uh, frag types from, or grenade types from the original game, if I remember. And um, they're all they all have their specific uses. So I think I already demonstrated the concussion grenades. I'm going to be saving the frags, and I highly recommend that you save the frags as well. If you have a fra if you have any frags, just continue to save them until a very specific moment. If you if you use them, you're probably going to regret it. And you'll see why. Those guys again. So much for waiting till the end of the game to bring them back in the story. Manderley was supposed to have that more locked down. Yet again, Somebody another reference to, the to Manderley. We did. Yes, we get it. It's a reference to the original game. Shut up. We can still reconfigure. Track this Yahoo down. It's too late for that. It's time to clean up. But what about the Dutchman? No loose ends, Barrett. I'll make the call. Malik, get out of sight, now. Why? What's going on? They're here. The mercs who killed Megan and her team. Okay, Mark. so that didn't take long. I'm We're already in. hot on their trail. That really took me by surprise the first time I played it, because I was like, really? They're gonna bring these guys back this early in the game? I thought they would have kept them much later. I mean, this this part right here is not really a good place to uh, do combat in, in my experience, so I like to go uh, stealth through here. And there's a very specific path we can go through over here. But if you did choose to do uh, combat in this area, there's a nice area where you can trigger their attention, and I might show that off as well uh, if I get unlucky and get detected. But uh, obviously we'll do this crates block in our path over here. I want to be careful with how I move them because I'm, I'm not sure if uh, moving them, the sound of me putting them down, which is quite loud, if that will alert the guards. But right here we pretty much have a, uh, there's multiple ways into this place, but I'm, I have a straight shot to the path that's closest to me. But I want to go over, ah, oh, damn it, they spotted me. Oh well. Yeah, there's a switch there that will disable that electricity right there, so you can actually crawl around in there and not get killed horribly. But, um... Now that they're alerted, I might as well show you guys a fight. So this is a nice place to hide because there's only one way they can come at you, and it's sort of a bottleneck formation. So let's demonstrate the crossbow real quick. Okay, that's not a very good demonstration. I didn't kill him instantly. Like I could have. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Went through the one guy, and then the other guy. That's a good demonstration of the crossbow. And we should be able to recover the majority of these rounds. And so, uh, but enough of that crap, let's go ahead and use the combat rifle. Real quick, these are the same guys we fought at the beginning of the game. And 
and there's an EMP grenade right there he just threw, and that's what the EMP grenade does, is it disables all of our augmentations, meaning we can't see anything, we can't target anything, we can't see our health, pretty much everything that is a feature of the HUD is disabled, and we can hardly see what we're doing, so it's, it's overall very annoying. But the main reason we want to use that against an enemy is uh, against strictly robotic enemies like security drones, it will destroy them instantly. And it is pretty much the only way we can beat a lot of those robot enemies, because some of them are ridiculously tough. And uh, they clearly imply that the only way to beat them is with using those EMP grenades. Uh, or not the only way, but the only recommended way. But I have some extremely good news. We finally get the revolver! Yeah! Some of these higher ranking officers in this area carry it around. And uh, so the difficulty curve of the game is going to spike from now on with the enemies and what kind of weapons they're going to carry, and it's only going to get worse from here on out. So there's not going to be guys running around with pistols anymore, they're all going to have, you know, SMGs, combat rifles, shotguns, and the occasional revolver. So I want to go ahead and sneak in here, this is the, main, the way I like to come in here. But I'm not, I'm not going to use the revolver for a while, as you can see I still don't have hardly any ammo for it at all, and I really want to save up as much ammo as possible. I mean, I've already been saving quite a bit, but I need more. And I'm only really going to be using it against big enemies or uh, bosses. And um, yeah. I'll, late game, I'll be using it quite a bit. But you can use it if you wish. Although I'm not going to place too many restrictions on using it because there all there are alternatives to using it. So, but it is really really nice. And if you got it at the beginning of the game uh, during the old choice thing when going into the pro the what call it plant, then uh, good for you. Then you've already been using it up until this point. So awesome. At this point, you probably just have, you know, upgrades and uh, more ammo for it, so that's nice. But I definitely want to go up this way because there's some more ammo over here. And this is going to avoid a large warehouse room that has a crap ton of guys in it. Just searching around to make sure I don't miss anything. Something over here. No, oh, something else over here. Okay, that, that's a uh, type of ammo for a weapon we don't we were not going to get for a while. But uh, if you are doing a peaceful run or a pacifist run, whatever you want to call it, then uh, I highly recommend that you pick that up because that weapon, the Peps, is going to be one of your three non-lethal weapons. So you're definitely going to want to have as much ammo for that as possible because ammo for it is pretty rare. So this is the big warehouse room, and I like, like I said, I like to come around this side. But um, the only downside is there is a sniper up here, and uh, he does, in fact, have the regular sniper rifle. So uh, if you didn't get the one on top of the gas station, this is the first and this is the first opportunity to get it afterwards. But uh, right now we just do not have the inventory space to lug it around with us, and we really don't need it. I deliberately dropped the silent sniper rifle in favor of um, just keeping the trank rifle and the crossbow on me for this one. So. But he has it. We definitely want to take his ammo, though, so we can have that as a, a stockpile for later. Because uh, even though I'm not using this, I don't have my my uh, stockpile of ammo on me right now, I at least want to acquire more of it so I can drop it off with the stockpile whenever I go back. Plus, whenever I go back, I'm probably going to take the silent sniper rifle with me and leave the crossbow, so whatever. Enough about the future, more about the now. Uh, right now, we need to get inside this little security office place right here, because there's a security hub in here. I think there is. No, there isn't. I'm thinking of someplace else. Anyway, there's a guy sleeping right here. And there's a weapon upgrade. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take him out with a silenced pistol. And somehow they heard that, so that's really annoying. I was hoping to make a silent entry in here. And uh, take out this guy and sneak my way around in here without being noticed. But oh well. We can always fight these guys now. Usually, I, uh, if you have the, if you have the, uh, the cloaking augmentation at this point, like if you were doing a peaceful run, then you could just exit the door here and head straight for the elevator down there and just skip all these guys. Oh, yeah. one of many encounters you can skip with that camouflage, which uh, makes it really get them. I might get that at some point just to show it off, and I highly, highly recommend it for a peaceful run. But that would also require you to invest more in uh, battery packs and everything, which I'm probably not going to do very much of in this run, because I really don't have as much of a need for them, because I really don't have that many abilities to use them aside from the takedowns. If I got the camouflage just to demonstrate it, then I would definitely want to get a little bit better uh, uh, power pack. Maybe maybe decrease the consumption rate, or maybe um, increase the, the quantity of them that I have. 
there is a computer there. I think if you hack either, it's either in this pocket secretary or in that, I think the pocket secretary has the login for the computer. And I think the computer will give you the information on the security hubs, I think is what it is. Now if you missed, if you skipped that encounter with the, with the guys um, earlier where I got the revolver, this guy has one as well. Just going to smack him in the face and take it from him. And his much appreciated ammo. So we're going to dodge this camera real quick and we're going to head straight for the basement down here. Like I said, you could just hop down here if you uh, had the cloaking. You could just zip right past those guys. You're already behind the camera, so no need to worry. I think there's also an alternate path that uh, I, w I wanted to go through the path that I did because of um, getting that data. But as we saw that grate there by the elevator, I think that's a vent that leads from the upstairs where I was with the sniper down there. So that's a really, really easy way to get into this elevator if you so choose to do that. But I'm not exactly sure how to get to that path, and I prefer the path that I went anyway, just because I could show off getting that data for the security hubs, which is going to be useful for uh, Richard, logging into each of them except for me to hacking, instead of hacking them. We may have a problem here. Wonderful. So, Adam, choices, choices, choices. This it's factory, all up to you. Where the hacker's signal originated, it's got FEMA signs all over it. That looks like some pretty serious some kind hardware of down there. Camp. FEMA? Random robot That's next thing. Impossible. Half of our contracts are government issue. Those are the types of enemies I, know, I was talking about that but the soldiers are, who attacked us they have are ridiculous here. amounts of armor and they can it, only they've got really access be to some pretty impressive the, equipment. Uh, the MP grenades, so. I better make some calls. Find out yeah, that is definitely way too many guys for us to handle at once. I have two practice points to spend, so I might as well go ahead and do that. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get the Icarus landing system, and so just so we don't have to worry about it anymore, because there's not that many things I really want to get for this level. I'm pretty much set for the rest of this level. So um, now that I have the Icarus landing system, I don't have to worry about it anymore, and I can use it for its intended purpose much later in the game.